the middle, Sabanajan. He goes to the net. He scores. He scores. The Rangers win. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this special video for all things Rangers. This is going to be a recap of our first year doing this podcast and this channel. Um, I didn't know it's growing to the heights that it is and that how it's continuing to grow and where it's going because our aim is to be the best hockey channel on YouTube and you have plenty of other good choices. But we're, we're hoping we'll be your favorite. So... Enjoy this recap of where we started and where we are right now. And it's, it's been an amazing ride. I can't tell you enough. And it's only going to get better. So enjoy. Like the burrito, where we could have made better choices, but we just got a little bit of Harper on the show for it. So today we're going to look at the 10 worst draft picks in New York Rangers history. Hey, David Quinn. Promised a better effort and spoke to his team. To be aggressive, not be losers, taught you to strike hard. So we're left with the question, is Henrik Lundqvist the greatest New York athlete not to win a championship? Would take the shot and blast it past Connor Hellebuck to score his first goal as a New York Ranger. I am joined today by John Filkowski. I pronounced that right, right? Correct. Okay. And we're going to be talking, well, all things Rangers, and there isn't many good things this uh, this last 10 days. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, yes, they had a bad training camp, or a short training camp. And there's no problem looking at you, Jim. I'm going to hear the name, and I'm going to get PTSD. All the cream has risen to the top. Because we got Gerard Gallant as a head coach. Oh yeah! I want to snap into a slip gym right now, brother. Like every other New York Ranger. Oh. But yeah, what what the hell with the with the Gallant presser? It's uh, it, 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 he should he could have been right next to Obi Wan Kenobi and Yoda. <laughs> In all honesty, I will sum it up by saying this: hockey porn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we both played ice hockey. You still play. That's a dream to play on a rink like that. On a like a. Have you noticed there's three of us today? Because we are joined by John's co-host on the Off the Post podcast, Mister Anthony Laraca. Yes, yes, reunited for for a day. I like it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, this is where we're going to point out about our boys across the river and our enemies play defense first they wait for other teams to make mistakes and when they do they they jump all over it you know they just do what they always do why is he yeah, doing leo konrov on the first line like welcome to the rock boys we're gonna go to my favorite portion of the week this one's a little bit smaller we're we're running down to the end more of that that's what made me like david quinn last year i want to end and having some confidence in his team Mark is officially softer than the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two goals this year. He's got two freaking goals. The Bruins were supposed to give up a first round draft pick for him. Said that he didn't care about how they got the wins, but that they got the wins. Everybody want to say it with me? Alexander Georgiev in one of these two games. So it's. it's Up again. Takes it wide, takes a shot, he scores! Why you little guy? Did you? Go! Go! Stop! He's already dead! I'm buying everybody around on this! Oh my god! Connor, just can you give me your sense of kind of where, where the group is at? Once again, my teammates come up short. There is going to be no pressure on me. I'm going to come in as a mercenary to a team full of stars, young stars in the making, with a brand new coach that's also going to have some pressure on him, and that's going to alleviate some for me. And in New York, you know what? Hockey's number four in New York. 
so that I'm not going to have people up my ass asking stupid questions like that all the damn time. So, yeah, we do have a lot of cap issues right now. Some of it was not me. Um, but again, you know, I'm Big Lou. I'm I get things done. Andrew Ladd's going to disappear. You know, he's going to be very intimidated from that horse head in his bed. You know, it's going to be all blood in his bed and he's going to be freaked out and he's going to be like, oh, well, you know, my general manager means business. I, I, I better hang him up and really help him out. Otherwise, you know, I may not be breathing anymore. I'll be sleeping with the fishes. So. Fuck. Oh, my God. I got the worst job in all the sports. Charles, you think you impressed The Rock? It doesn't matter what you think. Tuchel Rask, the former Vezina winners. Quite the upgrade, I would say, over Tristan Jari, who looks like a dumpster fire. New York Islanders, you're going nowhere. If I must say, man, do you have one of the greatest voices for this business. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I, I absolutely hate my voice. Every time I hear myself talk, I'm like, God oh, damn it. I think, I think, my mind thinks I don't have an accent. Sir, Dave Paniona. Hi, Dave. How you doing? How's it going, gentlemen? Uh, we, have, we have joining us right now. One of the co-hosts of Warty NHL. He's coming from us from across, coming to us from across the pond, and he's a man who said one of my favorite quotes: "The Minnesota Wild are the side salad of the NHL." <laughs> this is is with us. Isolated one game. I, I think in a seven-game series, uh, I think Colorado. I, yeah, but I really, uh, I don't. We, see we that. got we got breaking news, guys. Whoa! What happened? According to the New York Post. The New York Rangers fire President John Davidson and Jeff Gorton, both what? dismissed by CEO Jim Dolan. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Assistant GM Chris Drury is believed to be the leading candidate to become the GM and in a hunt for a president to have Mark Messier at the top of the wish list. Wow. Get the hell out of here. What the hell? Wow. We can't draft that guy, Brian. I know, I'm kidding. I can't. Why? Oh my god, why? Hold on. Fresh wow. from Thurston Kanko, the beefcake himself, Anthony Lorenzo. <laughs> How's it going, gentlemen? I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm picking up pizza. The girls are down at the beach, so I figured I had a free minute quick while I'm waiting to just surprise you guys and hop on from a different country. As Step Boy Steven kid knows, he's from a different country too. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, We're uh, going global with this baby, <laughs> and he's got a little more hockey sense and better hands, I would say, than Chris Kreider. So, but um, what are some of your Arkham moments where you should be committed to the asylum as soon as the play happens? And here's one of them for me. Adam Wainwright's curveball to Carlos Beltran. Um, oh, I, I keep on trying to predict when Pittsburgh and Washington are going to bottom out, and I can't. A, a surprise that wouldn't be a team that slips a little bit for me? Carolina Hurricanes. And and look, you know what? I, I understand when I have a, an opinion that people got to shout me down on the internet. But you know what? That's, what? that's what's made this fantastic. That's... Um, and, and you know what? That's why we're doing this. That's why I'm continuing to invest in this. That's why I'm continuing just to do everything. And this is, this has been fantastic. Would like to start off by saying thank you as well to everybody. Um, like we did with the draft night and the Reeves night. I mean, you've seen how long I can talk hockey with you guys for. I, I love doing this. Don't be skeptics. Uh, we have, we have, we have connections to, to get these people on and, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, as things go forward, we can continue. Um, providing some uh, big names to come on with us. Uh, that's something that I could vow I'm going to strive to do and um, add good content. And, you know, yeah, and listen, uh, I think we can only go in one direction from here and hopefully it's, that's, uh, you know, keep going up. But um, I'm just, uh, I'm just really uh, super happy and, and proud to be, to be a part of this. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.